Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox and some footage from upcoming game Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey. Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey transports you to prehistoric Africa, taking you back in time 10 million years, which is almost as long as we've been waiting for the final series of Game of Thrones. This isn't Far Cry Primal though, with that game's action hero cavemen. You'll be playing as our ape ancestors and trying to outpace the rate of real life evolution using your superior video game playing brain. Imagine if someone made a whole game out of the first five minutes of 2001 A Space Odyssey and you've basically got the right idea. Here are seven things you need to know about Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey. Or eight things if you also need to be told that I'm definitely going to be calling these creatures monkeys, even though they're not monkeys at all and actually they're prehistoric apes that were evolutionary ancestors of the modern human. Sorry not sorry. <laughs> If the theme of travelling back into history and then using that awesome privilege to climb about a lot reminds you of something, there's a good reason for that. Ancestors is the new project from a guy called Patrice Dessier, better known as the director behind the original Assassin's Creed. As a result, you can expect a lot of what game developers like to call verticality and what we like to call really tall stuff. Fortunately, as a prehistoric person, you're well equipped to clamber around in the tree canopy and swing between branches. <laughs> Makes you wonder why I, a far more evolutionarily advanced human, couldn't even climb the rope in gym class. You'll want to be careful though because fall damage in Ancestors is generously limited but still absolutely a thing you need to worry about. If you fall out of a tree and land hard enough then you'll break a bone, severely limiting your ability to move around until you sleep off the injury. Or until you get eaten by something you can no longer run away from. Your primary goal in Ancestors is to learn stuff. Don't worry if that sounds a bit too much like a homework assignment, it's all stuff a monkey man could feasibly do. So no quadratic equations or covalent bonds then, thankfully. I can't even figure them out here in space year 2019. As you explore the slice of African jungle that is home to your tribe, you'll have to develop your abilities. And although the option to unlock air assassinations might come up later in the game, who knows, at the beginning you'll be feeling pretty good if you manage to pass a stick from one hand to the other. Any minute now, I'm going to get it. Every time you return to your sleeping spot, you can plunge into your neurons and start making connections between the things you've learned, knitting the various bits of your brain together to unlock new pathways. Or you can just have a nap and discover what monkeys dream about. Ha! Huh, other monkeys. Who'd have thought? Talking of other monkeys, it's worth pointing out that you're not just the controller of one monkey, you're the custodian of the entire monkey tribe, and potentially the human race that evolves from it. This is a huge responsibility, yes, but it also means that if the monkey you're controlling vomits blood until it dies, you've usually got a whole load of spare monkeys back at the ranch. Guys, I think I broke this one. Can I get a fresh one? <laughs> You will become attached to your various ancestral apes though. They each have a name, some of them are tribe elders, and relationships between individual apes can be formed by bonding. In this case, successful bonding means picking the fleas off the back of your beloved and eating them, but maybe play it safe and stick with polite conversation for your next Tinder date. <laughs> If this species is going to persist, particularly with you accidentally falling out of trees every five minutes, you're going to need to make some babies. Successfully create a couple within your tribe via bonding and the pair can mate together, at which point the camera very tastefully pans away before things get properly National Geographic. <laughs> It's like The Sims, only a lot hairier. From that point on, simply take your pregnant ape across to the sleeping spot and lie down. It's at that point you're given the soon-to-be legendary option to press B to give birth. Now 
Now, I've never been a pregnant woman, but I'm pretty confident it's not quite that straightforward. It's worth pointing out that if we hadn't just told you how to bear children in Ancestors, you'd have had to work out the entire process yourself. And given that these are apes with zero command of language, it's not like you can even ask your monkey parents where babies come from. Even though there's quite a lot of interface stuff on this gameplay footage, this is actually still not nearly enough information for you to progress through the game. This is not a game that tutorialises you much, and beyond an initial sequence which has a proper objective, you're pretty much left to your own devices. It's telling that even that first objective, which is to track down an ape who died in the opening cutscene, had us stumped for a good hour or so before we finally found him stuck up a tree. You know, I'm starting to wonder how much I really have evolved in the last 10 million years. You'll need to learn pretty quickly too, because this slice of African jungle is a seriously dangerous place to be. There's other wildlife in there that's less interested in claiming a place in the evolutionary pantheon, and more interested in where its next meal's coming from. In particular, hanging around on the jungle floor is a terrible idea, because there are various creatures that will become immediately hostile when you stumble across them, triggering a bullet-timey moment where you have a second or so to dodge out of the way. Fail, and you might end up with the venomous snake bite that drastically blurs your vision and makes navigating this already confusing jungle environment considerably more difficult. Was it take a right at the big tree to get home? Ugh, they're all big trees! Master the ability to use rudimentary tools, like a stick made from a stripped dry branch, and you'll be given the option to attempt to defend yourself by stabbing your aggressor. Great, you think, until you realise that you have to learn how to not let go of your stick when you stab something. You know, it's a miracle we survived long enough to become the uber-riding, McDonald's-eating, Twitter-scrolling apex predators we are today. One thing that might make you feel better is that the jungle creatures aren't just out to get you, they'll happily pick on each other as well. Take this moment where I was credited with making a rock python eat a giant warthog, even though if I'm totally honest, it was completely by accident. Yikes! I think my monkey man just became the world's first vegan. Nevertheless, I was congratulated for being, and I quote, the astute dominator of the rock python. Those are some real $10 words for a prehistoric proto-human. Still, like a more terrifying version of the woman who swallowed a fly song, you now have a giant rock python to deal with. Fortunately, there's a solution to this problem, namely a large prehistoric cat called a Machairidus. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Though actually, dogs haven't been invented yet. It's a Machairidus eat python world out there. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it. There you go, the first gameplay footage from Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey, which has to be one of the strangest video game experiences we've had in a good while. Has it piqued your interest though? Let us know in the comments and like and subscribe for more new video games on Outside Xbox. And if you're interested in more from us, just click on those links that are on the screen right now. Toodles! <laughs>